What's up, everybody? It's a new day, a new week with new opportunities. And guess what? Opportunities begins with OPP. So are you down with OPP? Yeah, you know me. Well, I would say for me personally, I am down with OPP and I am so not down with OPP. And some of you may be thinking, what the heck is he talking about? Well, back in 1991, there's a band called Naughty by Nature. They released a song called OPP. And it went to a top 10 hit. It was an awesome song. I enjoyed it. And then I would found myself singing along with it, not really even knowing what the words or the lyrics were about. So OPP in the context of this song means other people's property. So that for me is a hard no. I am not down with OPP, other people's property. And another variation of that is the second P is also genitalia. So that's kind of what they're talking about in the song. So I'm certainly not down with OPP in that context, but I am certainly down for OPP as far as opportunities to bless people, to encourage people, to support people, to inspire people, to come along people that need a little help and a little encouragement and give it to them. I am down all day long with that kind of OPP. But there's another kind of OPP, another opportunity to look at OPP from a different and completely opposite vantage point. And that is, I just mentioned it, opposite. So opposition. I'm not down with opposition. Now, there's positive opposition that will help you grow, but then there's systemic opposition. There is widespread opposition. There is global opposition that I'm not down with at all. And a big part of that opposition plagues or preys upon people that are ignorant. So people that have knowledge and awareness and wisdom and know things are directly opposed to people who don't know those things. We call it marketing. Sometimes we call it business success. Here's the problem I have with that, is that if you are successful in business at the expense of other people, and I'm not talking financial expense, because when people pay for something they see value in and they are blessed by it, it's a win-win situation. The person who gave the blessing and the person who received the blessing be it based on the person who paid for it. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about people who make money off the expense of other people in a negative way. In other words, they victimize them. They, they, they plague them. They do things they, to get over on them because they're ignorant. They're preying upon the ignorance. I'm not down with that at all. And that is an opposition that I just pray against constantly. And you don't have to look around long to see that that's going on widespread globally right now. So I just want to come against that level of OPP. But then there's also oppression. And you don't have to look far to see that either. It's when someone in power or an organization in power does something corruptly to oppress people. I'm not down with that at all either. And you don't have to look very, very much further than the United States government to see where that is running awry right now and has been for quite some time. And I'm not down with that kind of oppression or opposition at all, not at all. For the organization or the entity, the government that says they are for the people and by the people to protect the people, but the people are the victims, I'm not down with that at all. Like, not at all. Not for a split second. And you shouldn't be either. And I'm just using one example that gets me fired up to talk about. Are you down with OPP? Not when it comes to oppression and not when it comes to opposition and not when it comes to holding people down because they're ignorant or because you have power over them. That's when we've completely gone off the rails. And I'm not going to continue on this soapbox. I'm just sharing this with you to maybe look over your shoulders, do a little research, gain a little wisdom, gain a little knowledge, because when you have knowledge, and you've applied that knowledge to give you wisdom, you are a lot harder to oppress. You are a lot, a lot harder to come against because you are, are now, you are now aware. And when someone is aware and they have knowledge and they have wisdom, they're a lot harder to control. And I invite each and every one of you to be that person. 
Learn what you currently don't know. Do not trust anyone, and I mean anyone other than God Almighty himself. Not even people who claim to be disciples of God. Don't trust them either because people can be fallible. People can be corrupt in the name of God. And in the name of all religion, there is corruption going on. Again, you don't have to look very far to see what I'm saying is true. In fact, in my life as a Christian, as a follower of Jesus Christ, I have felt more persecuted and more judged and more condemned by people who claim to be disciples of Christ, who think they can just at will tell me how to live my life and tell me when I'm wrong and tell me who I should vote for and what I should eat and what kind of Bible I should read, what version of the Bible I should read, what kind of YouTube videos I should watch. All, it, all flying in the face of Matthew chapter 7, which says, judge not lest ye be judged. It is not our job to judge. It is our job to follow. It is our job to love and support and follow Christ and listen for his spirit and listen for his discernment and not judge. It's God's job to judge, not ours. So to you Christians who think you can judge everything everyone is doing, step back. Get on your knees and read chapter, read Matthew chapter 7 and humble yourself. Because you are being oppressive. You are being opposition to people that are genuinely looking for the love and heart of Christ. And they're not going to find it if you're the sole representative unless you change your heart. And I'm talking about truth and love. I'm not judging. I'm just holding a mirror to some of your faces. So stop it. Stop it, because you're leading people in the opposite direction with your soapbox, with your megaphone, with your 10-foot cross that, you, that you're pounding people over the head with, trying to encourage them to follow you. Well, they're not going to follow you anywhere, because they're going to go the opposite direction, because you're missing the mark entirely. And so back to my original topic, are you down with OPP? Are you down with other people's property? To that, I say no. Are you down with opposition? To that, I say no. Are you down with opp oppression? To that, I say no too. And I'm only talking about myself, but am I open to opportunity, which also begins with OPP? Yes, I am about that all day long, to give people wisdom, to give people knowledge, to give people power, to be able to see when oppression is coming against them, to be able to see when opposition is coming against them and stand strongly in that and say, Thank you, but no thank you. Get behind me, Satan. Take it somewhere else. It's not my jam. Sorry. That's it. So here's an OPP. Are you a provider of other people's peace? If you do what I just said, you can be. And if you stand righteously on good and righteously on truth and righteously on what is right, you can be OPP the provider of other people's peace by your example. Do not stray from this, my friends, because there are people right now that are so easily led astray. If you love them and you care for them, hug them, encourage them, love on them. Don't make them wrong. Love on them. Ask them questions why they think about the way they think. And then you may find opportunities to come in and share some information with them, to share some love and encouragement with them, to support them. Because they, you may be the only synchronicity. You may be the only positivity they have in their life because everything else is oppressive or coming against them in opposition. You can be different. So don't be down with OPP as it relates to oppression or being op opposing someone else. Be down with OPP when it comes to opportunities to bless and that you can be the provider of other people's peace. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. Take care and God bless.